Meanwhile, growing fears around the hostage situation in Gaza. As Israeli authorities say, the number of captives are in the hundreds. Experts say a special division of the terror group, it's called the Shadow Unit, may be in charge of guarding the hostages. So what do we do about them now that we know about them? And what does it all mean for the captives? Let's ask the Senior Vice President for Research at the Foundation for a Defense of Democracies, Jonathan Chanzer. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Your sense on the Shadow Group, is it their version of the Navy SEALs? Something like that. This is an organization that's been around for the better part of a decade. Uh, they have been already holding two Israeli hostages as well as the remains of a couple of Israeli soldiers from 2014. They answer to what's known as the Qassam Brigades or the so-called military wing of Hamas led by a guy named Mohammed Daif, who's probably uh, number two or number three on the Israeli targeting list right now. Uh, I think there are real questions about the way they're going to be treating these hostages. Hamas is trying to show, uh, I think, really, it's it defying reality, but they're trying to show that they're taking care of these hostages uh, by releasing some of these videos right now. But there's clearly an element of psychological warfare as well. So what is the reason, in your view, for the delay? Are we doing this? Are we telling them to delay? Uh, now are they going to wait for the president to come here, a further delay? Is there a bad side to delaying? I, it's a great question. I mean, I do think that it's going to be hard for the Israelis to launch that ground invasion while Biden's on the ground. We've seen reports that President Macron out of France is also going to come visit. I don't know how much longer this can be delayed. I'm sure the Israelis are happy to allow the U.S. to try to work the phones and to engage in shuttle diplomacy to try to secure the release of those 199 hostages. But I do have to wonder how this looks in Tehran, how this looks with Hezbollah, both of them are trying to determine uh, whether Israel and perhaps even the United States are serious about their warnings. So the other theory would be they're convinced that Hezbollah is coming in the minute they go south into Gaza and they have to be ready for it. It might be just pure logistics militarily. How, how, did, how much uh, credence should I put to those theories? No, I think it's it's a good one. I think, you know, the, the Israelis are certainly worried about opening up a northern front. And you're right, the moment they put boots on the ground, that could be the moment that the north lights up. I think the Israelis also have to be concerned about the possibility that there are surprises that Hamas planned in the south when they go in. They knew that Israel would have to go into the Gaza Strip after taking those hostages. So the question is, what did Iran, Hamas's top patron, what did Iran provide Hamas to prepare for this ground invasion? So we know the Secretary of State uh, want to see King Abdullah, want to see the Fatah head Assad, and want to see uh, MBS in Saudi Arabia. Evidently, almost no success. And in Egypt, they got a lecture. So are we losing street cred, or is this something on Anthony Blinken? He just doesn't have the respect to people. And is that somehow linked to why the president's going? Look, when, when they talk to the Egyptians, what they're trying to do is to open up a humanitarian corridor. And, and the politics around this, it's just simply insane to watch. Everybody says they support the Palestinian cause, but they're more than willing to allow for two million Palestinians to remain in Gaza knowing that Israel has to go in. And so they're willing to sacrifice Palestinian people for the Palestinian cause. Right. Egypt does not want to set up a refugee camp on their border, especially when some of them could be Hamas, which is an outskirt, uh, an outgrowth of the Muslim Brotherhood, who, uh, who is still in their country creating havoc. Uh, thanks so much, Dr. Jonathan Chancer. Appreciate your expertise. Anytime. Still ahead. The disturbing rise in anti-Israeli sentiment reaching new heights 